Hi, I'm Matt Doubleday with Affiliated Steam and Hot Water, and today we're going to talk about how a Spence pilot operated regulator works. There are two types of self contained pressure regulators direct acting and pilot operated. Although less expensive, direct acting valves have less capacity and are not as accurate. Therefore, today, we'll be talking about the pilot-operated valves. The main valve, once sized properly, is piped in line. The main valve receives its signal from the pilot valve. The pilot receives its initial steam from a connection on the upstream side of the main valve, loading steam under the seat. The valve is connected by a horizontal run of tubing, which is the bleed port, and a run of tubing that goes to the bottom of the main valve to the diaphragm. As we apply spring pressure, to the top of the pilot, we open the pilot valve, allowing steam to flow down and under the diaphragm, flexing the diaphragm and opening the main valve. The pilot receives its initial pressure through a connection on the upstream side of the main valve. The adjusting spring on the pilot compresses the diaphragm and acting through a pusher plate, opens and allows the steam from under the valve to enter the bends and fittings or connecting tubing. This tubing goes to a bleed port on the downstream side of the main valve and also enters under the main valve diaphragm. As we push down on the spring, it drives the pilot disc off its seat, opening the valve. The downstream pressure is fed back underneath the diaphragm. When we reach our set point or have enough force underneath the pilot to overcome the spring tension holding it open, the stem will retract and the pilot will close. Once the pilot closes, the excess pressure under the main diaphragm will bleed off to the downstream bleed port. Once demand picks up or there is more force on top of the disc than underneath it, the pilot will reopen and continue to maintain a downstream pressure. A properly sized Spence valve will be able to maintain downstream pressure and deliver adequate steam flow for years to come. And that's how a Spence pilot operated pressure regulator works. In addition to the pilot operated regulator, we have back pressure regulators, temperature regulators, and air loaded regulators. I'm Matt Doubleday with Affiliated Steam and Hot Water, and today I showed you how a Spence pressure regulator works. For more information and videos, visit AffiliatedSteam.com today.